Right then, Tower Block Archive, and today we have the Morris Walk Estate. And today is a very sad day, because this estate is being pulled down. Despite the fact it looks absolutely epic, this is one of my all-time favourite housing estates, because the buildings look amazing, they are so brutalist and absolutely awesome looking. Big concrete look, is this so nice. But sadly, they're being destroyed. These buildings used a large panel system where they prefabricated the panels and put them together. This design's turned very unpopular and loads of them are being pulled down all across London. But in the Morris Walk State, I do not know if any of the buildings have structural problems or if there's other reasons for it being pulled down. The buildings are very run down and are absolutely full of asbestos. So we start off south of the railway and a lot of the states had hoarding put around it and it's no longer open to the public. Let's first start a video with this bit that is open to the public. There's only a handful of residents still living in this part of the state. Anyone still living here? I do not think so. No one there? Uh, oh, one person still lives here. I would not want to be the one person living here, that would be quite scary. Oh no, two people live here still. Got, uh, I believe that's an Aleko. And now we go along to the larger buildings south of the river. These buildings are the absolute epic ones. And in some of these blocks, there's this one or two flats still occupied. Imagine being one of the last people in this estate in an almost abandoned building. That would be scary. Let's go inside one of these buildings. And the lifts here are epic old express lifts. And we'll come on to what makes these lifts incredibly interesting later on. That is really efficient. It's got fairly accelerated indicator. We're not fully abandoned here, some people still live here. But it's a sleeping spot, somewhere to sleep. Asbestos. Asbestos free. Where is there asbestos in that? Somewhere, maybe it's in the door. Must be in the door, must be the door maybe. So up at the 8th floor, these lifts do not serve the ninth floor, even though the motor room is on the 10th floor, so they should be able to serve the ninth floor, but they don't. And here's the motor room door. It's locked with the Woolwich and Greenwich Abbas key. I do not have this key. If anyone knows how to get a hold of this key, please tell me, because I really need it. There's so many epic states I could see if I had this key. We've got something in here stuff. In the event of a flat earth breakdown, please call. So we now go under the railway, so we're now north of the railway. All of the state, this side, has all got hoarding around it and it's close to the public, apart from one block, which is this block, which I believe is only one flat still occupied. Imagine living here in an almost abandoned building. That would be scary. Let's go in and take a look around. That level so quick. And along to this little area in the estate. This was a communal washing machine room. It's only been opened up now as the estate is about to be pulled down. So in the past there used to be a communal washing machine here. And in this area there is an old newspaper from 1989. And just notice this article, Overground Rail Link Fear. This is very much news of the time. And on this top floor, there's this one flat occupied. On um, all the other floors I went to, it was zero flats occupied, all abandoned. So let's now take a look in one of the abandoned flats. Lovely old radiator. Cupboard there. The main corridor, this is what your flat looks like. Modern smoke detector. Heating controls are ripped out. Bathroom, smashed up sink. The toilet's already gone, and this is the most prestige room with some nice chairs, and a kitchen. I dread to think what that is. It looks like it contains brown asbestos. Toilet. 
Toilet, oh, here's where the toilet is. These are some flats that's left in the door. This one smells slightly more damp than the others. Got wallpaper. And yeah, quite a lot more damp. And now we surf the lift. The lifts in this estate are 100% original. And by that, I literally mean 100%. Everything is original. It's even got an original inspection control. These lifts are rare and awesome find. So let's surf it. Be up down now in the middle. In these blocks, there's only one door where you can rescue trapped passengers. <laughs> the others you can't. Oh, yes, now I see. That's awful. And now, it's now time to take a look at the most interesting part. The part that's close to the public. Let's take a look around. And from here you can see how big and epic this estate is. There's lots of building here, all built with the exact same building style, the large panel system. And this view here just makes you see how amazing and awesome the buildings look. So it's all abandoned, about to be demolished. There's a couple of people here doing asbestos removal, but other than that, nobody about. And even better, all of the electricity is still on. So along to the first building in the closed off section. Building looking very epic, sadly about to be pulled down. And we go inside and this building looks like it was only abandoned quite recently. It doesn't smell abandoned yet. So you trust the lift when it's completely abandoned. Oh, is it off? No, Oh, it is. Let's hope there's no homeless people in here. Still got lots of stuff. Oh, pizza. It's bigger flat. Yeah, it's bigger. This one doesn't even smell bad. Oh, the door system, that should work. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we've got a sink here. We've got the kitchen again, where this one has asbestos. Do not breathe in. I don't know if that's asbestos or not. Let's inspect the toilet. Number 36, carpet, the meters are there. Uh, no, not too bad. And we go up to the motor room, which is open. Sketchy lava. 
for the first time I've been in. And now we can take a look at the lift logics here. I've been wanting to take a look at logics here for quite a while, so they seem a bit different to other express logics. And I wasn't wrong. These lifts have some incredibly rare logic, which I've never seen before. This logic was built in the late 70s, early 80s, and uses some electronic components and some relays as the logic function. So all modern day lifts have the big relay contactors to, to actually put the main power to the lift, but the actual logic function now is all electronics. But to have a mixture of electronics and logic relays doing the logic function, it's just bizarre. Why would you mix those two technologies? And what makes these lifts even more interesting is they've got a very early pulsing drive. You can't see it that well, but behind where the circuit boards are, they are big big transistors. I don't know exactly which transistor technology they are, but they're big and very interesting and incredibly advanced for the time. These lifts are pulsed AC, so it's not reformed AC, it's not a VF drive, it's this AC that's chopped up to change the voltage on it. That's normal. So to conclude, never seen this logic before, don't know anything about it, it's very weird Seems like it's nothing like any other logic. It doesn't follow any of the design or styles of any other logic I've seen. As well as your main contactors down there, you've got logic level relays and logic level chips. So why would you use those two technologies together? If you've got chips to run your logic, why do you still have relays to do logic level stuff rather than the main contactor stuff? It's a very odd bodge of two technologies. I've seen similar ones by Express, but none quite like this. Big capacitors, same up there, same up there, and there is the pulsing drive. Very early pulsing drive, it's an AC, so it chops the AC up like it's a DC, but it's directly chopping into the AC, but not reforming it, so it's not a VF drive. And that's what your very old pulsing drive looks like. Very weird logic, and I don't know, I don't know why there's another cabinet. It's like an expanded surface with more floors, but that's obviously not what it is, there's only eight. Should I transform us in The pulse encoder unit goes into that. It's just a black box, it looks like, on the schematic that the list of drive unit. It's free fall time! And here we go! Oh, let's get some speed up. Here we go. Speeding up, speeding up, speeding up. Stop! And that's how you free fall it. Oh, you didn't put it in hand mode. Oh no, I didn't put it in hand mode. <laughs> oh dear, I forgot to switch the lift off or put it on hand wide mode before I free fall it. The lift could have re-leveled with my hand on the wheel, which would be very dangerous. And that resets. And let's get out onto the roof. And let's now take a look around some of the abandoned flats. So now we leave this block and come looking around the estate and along to the next block. And the next block seems to be abandoned for long. It has that real abandoned smell to it. This one smells very, very, very damp. Lifts are on, but a light isn't. Lifts on eight, three down. And this lifts on three. How one does it want to move? I'm not sure if I trust this one, it's very dark. Oh, the light's on inside, isn't it? Oh, it's a plant. I want you to press six, but not the others. Somebody's going to be here with a multi-coloured marker. Any 
anyone want a letter? And up to the motor room. On well, this one, the ladder's right in situ, waiting for something in the motor room. Clown free zone. And now we go over this closed off bridge and we're now south of the railway in the area not open to the public. Let's take a look around this area. So they breeze blocked it up, then a hole's been formed. I love that on the floor. That room seems quite nice. So does that room. Got a, bit, a fair bit of asbestos probably. Here's quite a nice place. Good night,